Hello, I'm meteorologist Sabrina Fine. We're off to a fairly mild few days, although the humidity is going to increase, thus leading to a chance of rain. And until then, we have a coastal flood advisory to tell you about out over toward Anne Arundel County until 6 a.m. on Monday. We could see some of the waters flood, especially near Dock Street, as we're anticipating some of the water to go about a half a foot above normal tide, simply because we have an easterly wind combining with that high tide near 3 into the morning. Low pressure system to our south of the stationary front getting close to us, and that is going to spark maybe a few showers for us as we head on in through our Monday and then the humidity just continues to pump in. We'll see a chance of thunderstorms as well later on into the work week. One thing at a time though, right? Here's your future cast starting you off Sunday evening noticing just pleasant conditions. Those clouds are going to increase the over the evening hours and then as early as 930 in the morning tomorrow out over towards Savage, maybe even skirting out toward Annapolis. We could see a shower. It's only a 20% chance, so fairly isolated. Everyone's not going to see it. By 3 o'clock, you're picking up those kiddos out over toward Westminster and heading into Cockeysville. You could also see a chance of rainfall. Remember, though, everyone is not going to be dealing with the wet stuff. In fact, most of us just dealing with mostly cloudy skies with temperatures near the 80 degree mark for us, at least for our Monday before we get things really heating up with a nice warm front by the middle half of the work week, which will also accompany a few of those thunderstorms. For tonight, though, temperatures in Sykesville going for 62 degrees, staying near 60 degrees out toward Manchester. Falston, you're going for 61 and out toward Dundalk, the mid 60s. Pasadena, also the mid 60s there. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies working our way near the lower 80s. That's seasonal for us this time of year. Ellicott City, 78 degrees. Now over toward Bel Air, you're going for about 79. Pushing down out toward Glen Burnie, looking for a nice 80 degrees. It will be a tad muggy. That's why we're going to see the chance of some rainfall. But overall, just dealing with the humid scale. Watch what happens though by Wednesday when we get that warm front on down. Not only do we get warmer, we start to get stickier and then feeling oh so humid by the time we get on into Friday. 7 day forecast for you. Noticing your temperatures about 81 degrees tomorrow, that 20% chance of rain, mostly cloudy skies. Tuesday, the temperatures go up to 84. We get even warmer by Wednesday to 90. But remember, with that warm front also comes the humidity. So Thursday leading to a chance of some rainfall as well and staying on into the upper 80s for the weekend. That's looking your seven day forecast stick with us online at WMAR2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news also for news and weather while you're on the go download the WMAR2 app in the app store you can watch live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone thanks for watching I'm Sabrina Fine this WMAR2 news update is sponsored by Jones Junction